Did you know that I have a Patreon page? If you want extra content, you can subscribe to my Patreon to see videos that will never be uploaded to YouTube. Like this, and this, and this one here. Wow! My Patreon account also features brand new types of content like behind the scenes and hot takes. Patrons are also the first people notified of any changes to my schedule. Go to the first link in the description if you want even more content. How'd it go with the Morty Town Locos? They had a little accident. They won't be causing any trouble anymore. Those were bad Mortys. Very bad Mortys. Big Morty likes to contribute to keeping the peace in Morty Town. Think of him as a drug lord and us as cops on his payroll. Morty. Which, Which Morty? Morty? My, my partner. Morty, you're right. Morty Town is bad, but that doesn't mean that we have to be. Hey, what's going on here, Morty? Which, Which Morty? Morty? The cop, morons. Don't worry about Rick, Big Morty. He's new. He doesn't understand how it works. That's what you said about your last partner. Morty, you ready for our adventure to the lost city of Atlantis? Rick and Morty not being complete assholes to each other is a pretty clear indicator that we won't be going to Atlantis. And I get that's the point of the episode, but it doesn't make me any less upset that the episode does not contain an adventure to the lost city of Atlantis. Admits that it's the point of the episode, still sends it. I mean, I would have understood the sin if the episode was shitty, but it's not, so... Going from reality to reality, asking Ricks to contribute... Charity canvassing. Chanvassing? Skip. Pitching the policeman's ball to a black teenager here. The smartest man in the universe being aware of the complex and difficult relationship racial and ethnic minorities have with the police, but choosing to use the topic as fodder for his jokes as opposed to actually doing something about it. Yup, it's called a comedy, Discount Jeremy, and comedies are supposed to make jokes. Shockingly. You don't have to be a dick. I think you know that's not true. When Rick stop being polite and start getting real. <laughs> no, no, what the <laughs> oh shit! The next two sins in a row are just Discount Jeremy pointing things out on the screen. Citadel Morning News. News about the Citadel in the morning. Pretty self-explanatory. When you over-explain things to the different versions of yourself as if you're the asshole. And before you say, what about the Mortys? You and I both know they'll never stop playing with their remote long enough to watch the news. Sinning over-explaining? That's odd, coming from the guy who struggles to understand the simplest of concepts. I'm surprised you even understood the fact that this was meant as a joke. The chemical that makes his brain secrete goes into every simple Rick, simple wafers, wafer cookie. Brain secretion wafer cookies are my least favorite secretion wafer cookies. Okay. What was the sin here? He didn't say anything legitimately critical or funny, so I'm waiting for him to say something of value. Come home to the impossible flavor of your own completion. Tagline of my sex tape? Discount Jeremy makes a cringy sex tape joke that isn't funny cliche. Having an entire factory that only makes wafer cookies. Sure, a factory could put out just one product, but f***ing wafer cookies? How is there a big enough market for those? Did you not watch the commercial? Oh, you're pretending it never happened so you can force a sin out of the episode. K83, affectionately known as Cool Rick. K83 doesn't pronounce his name Cool Rick. Jesus Christ, cringe overload, abandon ship. <laughs> Time to abandon ship. Four normal Mortys. Normal? Put it in your blog. Shop owner Morty is suddenly clever enough to make this comeback when a moment ago he wasn't clever enough to give Training Day Rick and Morty any information about the robbery beyond saying they looked like Mortys. Welcome to Morty's character. He can give snappy comebacks sometimes, but still doesn't have a whole lot of brains or common sense. What's the issue with that? It's a cartoon character, bud. Morty Town Locos! Making your gang name sound Hispanic by adding the word logos to it is like the social science equivalent of adding the word quantum to things to make them more sciency. Right, and that's the point. Why are you sitting something that the episode agrees with? How would you solve the Citadel's financial crisis? For a show as consistently outside the box as this one, it's surprising they went with a boilerplate financial crisis as a problem facing the Citadel. Why? This society is still recovering from the last time we had an episode here, so it actually makes sense that they would have a financial crisis. Can we fact check this, please? Uh -huh. Juggling would have been enough, but this one's for attempting to fact check a juggling metaphor. That's the joke. Eat in our factories, where Ricks work for a fraction of their boss's salary, even though they're identical and have the same IQ. If they all have the same IQ, then why aren't there robot servants doing all the work and thousands of Ricks just sitting around drinking margaritas? Isn't that kind of the point? 
This is all supposed to be a metaphor for how the upper class controls the lower class. In this specific example, it's more absurd than ever because of the fact that the ricks could just have robots doing these jobs for them. That's the entire point. This screen in the back shows all the ricks running for office and their percentage in the polls, which equals 100. But where's the Morty date and his percentage? Even if he has 0% at this point, he should still be on this screen since he was taking part in the debate. I believe the sin here is rickscrimination. So you get that this is because they're discriminating against Morty, but then you sin it anyway? What the hell? You gonna lick my balls or what? <laughs> Shit, grandson, you keep me peeling squab squams and slipping nib nibs, I'll lick whatever ain't nailed down. Well, there's just a lot of sh here I'm just gonna ignore for my own sanity and move straight to sinning Rick for lickscrimination against things that are nailed down. Pointless throwaway sin to waste time is pointless and wastes time. The next two sins in a row are both just pointing things out on the screen. Associating food with a hard Rick is not a health code violation in this scene. Discount Jeremy makes a boner joke that isn't funny cliche. Dance for 10, two for 25. For a moment, I was worried about shaming autosexuality here, but the longer I spend with this scene, the more certain I become that this is something else entirely. Okay, and the sin is, oh, you can't come up with anything? Then why did you bring this up in the first place? Oh, Show wants me to believe those last two aren't one and the same. Discount Jeremy makes a cringy sexual joke that isn't funny, cliche. We got your portal gun. After he drops the shield, they make a little baby portal to give him the gun. So while he's distracted and the shield was still down, couldn't they have opened multiple portals in the flavor core and surrounded him? Yes, but that would have run the risk of him killing his hostage. Discount Jeremy would be terrible at hostage negotiations. A portal to the blender dimension? The one-line pitch responsible for Event Horizon. Discount Jeremy makes a pop culture reference that isn't a sin of the episode cliche. You have to give up something really important. For me, that's my panini maker. I wish for a million sandwiches. And yes, I see the irony. Not requesting these sandwiches at a specific interval so they don't arrive all at once and spoil. Stupid pointless sin is stupid and pointless. I wish anything about this life would change. The show does the wildest, most nonsensical bullshit and somehow swings it back around to make you feel something cliche. Nope, not a cliche. Now is the time for action. Sure, launching the bodies out into space gives us an idea of the devastation Evil Morty can inflict, but it makes little sense in terms of disposable, especially when you've already shown us the giant garbage portal that seems much more suited to the job. Admits that it's for the audience, sends it anyway. Still not curious about what might have happened at that crazy Citadel place? Psh, not at all, Morty. That place will never have any bearing over our lives ever again. Writers let the audience know that nothing in this show is sacred, and they'll do whatever they please whenever they want, and that includes bringing the Citadel back probably somewhere around the 500th season. Yup, because let's admit it, this show is amazing and we'd let it murder us if it asked. Off the top? I don't know. Is it? Yes, yes, goddamn, yes. It's great. Good. This seems like a good time for a drink and a cold, calculated speech with sinister overtones. A speech about politics, about order, brotherhood, power. But speeches are for campaigning. Now is the time for action. <laughs>